Because what now, uh, if you speak up Russia, it will mean murderer. If you speak Putin, mean murderer. We are painted by the West as some blood, you know. Hai 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 semua. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan selamat kembali ke Dolah Check Channel. Jadi saya rasa sangat berterima kasih kepada anda semua yang selalu hadir di channel saya ni. Jadi dengan kesempatan ini saya ingin berdoakan untuk kita semua supaya kita sehat walafiat, dijauhi dari apa jua malapetaka, dijauhi dari daripada apa jua penyakit. So kita supaya kita sehat selalu dan boleh menjalankan aktiviti-aktiviti kita ataupun aktivitas-aktivitas harian kita. So dengan ini juga saya berterima kasih dengan anda semua yang baru hadir channel saya ni. Bagi yang berhadir itu, please tolong subscribe dan tekan loceng notifikasinya dan juga ha, jangan lupa bagi saya komen dan share dengan rakan-rakan yang baru saja menonton video ni. Okay. Okay, kali ini saya nak buat rakan-rakan semua merek sebuah lagi video. Jadi video ni berkaitan dengan Rusia dan Ukraine iaitu Rusia dan Ukraine iaitu duta besar mereka jadi video ni bertajuk Rusia Ukraine duta besar dua duta besar kecewa pada Indonesia mengapa mereka kecewa so jadi saya nak react video ni dibuat oleh BBC News Indonesia so dengan tidak melengahkan masa jom kita layan videonya 1 2 3 layan Because what now, if you speak up Russia, it will mean murderer. If you speak Putin, mean murderer. We are painted by the West as some blood, you know, uh, thirsty monsters. It's, it's, it's not true. We don't want war. We know what war is. We lost 27 million lives in World War II. No. Ukraina bersikeras bahwa invasi Rusia adalah kejahatan perang. Sementara Rusia berpendapat apa yang dilakukannya memiliki dasar pembenaran. Saya berbicara kepada Duta Besar Kedua Negara dan Pemerintah Indonesia. Bagaimana kelanjutan dan kemungkinan... Okay, kita dengar apa yang dikatakan oleh Duta-Duta Kedua Negara ini. How do you think the situation there would develop then? And what's the end goal um, for Russia? For Russia, it was uh, very clearly stated by our president, the goals of our operation. And once again, it's not a war, especially not a war against uh, Ukrainian people. Uh, but uh, the goal of the operation is demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Because Ukraine is our neighbor. We have a very long... Uh, border oh. with Ukraine around 2020, if the military infrastructure of NATO comes to the border of Russia, can we not feel threatened by this kind of development? Of course we do. Oh, Ukraine oh they they NATO. that's what they didn't expect, because they, it is not the war uh, between like armies. It's not the attack of Russian army on Ukrainian military force, mm -hmm. uh, or it's not attack of, of Russia uh, on Ukrainian government. No, it is the war against nation. It is mm -hmm. the attack on Ukrainian independence, sovereignty, and on lives of civilians of the whole country. So now we have united nation, absolutely united country, uh, oh. like with this very strong will to defeat the enemy and uh, the whole nation fights. What about the autonomy of Ukraine as an independent nation to make their own decisions if they want to join NATO or not, or EU or not? Um, what do you think about that? The people of Ukraine should be asked, not just the puppet government installed by the West, huh. but uh, the free will of Ukrainian people should be considered. 
during these eight years, uh, no one was asking Ukrainian people what they really want. And uh, I'm sure that if uh, there will be no pressure, uh, no pressure. from outside, if uh, the minds of Ukrainians are not manipulated, uh, oh, manipulated. by their puppet government and the Western propaganda, the answers would be uh, quite different. We are not in, uh, in the state of war with Ukraine. We're not fighting against Ukrainian people. Ukrainian people, we see them as our brothers and sisters. We are practically the same people. And we don't want to hurt any civilians. Uh, that's why we're well, talking with the Ukrainian side on humanitarian passages, uh, so that civilians could be spared. You don't talk and kill in the same time. If you want to, like, show your will to just you know demonstrate your willingness for something oh. first what you have to do is to stop killing civilians stop oh, stop killing civilians and that's from what you what do you think of the sanctions and exclusions imposed to your country by the world uh, don't tell me about the world because <laughs> us and their allies are not the whole world and uh, majority of countries did not uh, join the sanctions. There are different experts, aspects to this uh, situation. First of all, they are absolutely absurd and uh, illegitimate and, uh, you know, the West behaves like, you know, bandits uh, because uh, uh, when they froze uh, assets of our central like bank, bandit, like bandit. Uh, it's just theft, it's just stealing. <coughs> I'm not telling uh, that it will uh, it will not hurt. Of course, we will have some hard times, but we've learned our lessons. Mm -hmm. We will do whatever we can to uh, make the Russian economy not dependent on uh, our Western partners. You wrote an open letter to the Indonesian government recently. Can you um, tell us again what are the key messages in the letter? I think in the situation like this, when the uh, like military catastrophes happening, humanitarian catastrophes happening, war crimes are committed in huge scale in, in Ukraine. In this situation, I would hope that every nation, every nation of a goodwill, especially proud nation of Indonesia, every nation should stand up and condemn the aggression. Not mm -hmm. just to condemn the war as it is, mm. not just to condemn the aggression as it is, whatever, but to name the aggressor, to name the invader. Dengan G20. Apa hasil pertemuan antara Ibu Menlu dengan Duta Besar Ukraina dan Rusia? Fokus uh, Ibu Menteri adalah tentu menyampaikan ada dua hal utama. Yang pertama tentu masalah uh, kembali menyampaikan posisi Indonesia dan alasan mm -hmm. mengapa posisi uh, tersebut diambil. Saat ini penting adalah untuk deeskalasi, turunkan tensi dan stop peperangan karena situasi kemanusiaannya sudah sangat khawatirkan. Yang kedua, yang selalu Ibu sampaikan adalah tentang humanitarian corridor, safe passage, tentang aspek kemanusiaannya. Karena itu sangat penting, kita lihat berapa juta orang yang sudah apa, meninggalkan Ukraina menurut data UNS yang oh. terakhir, dan juga termasuk di dalamnya tentu evakuasi warga negara kita itu termasuk di antaranya. Um, what do you think of Indonesia's statement um, and position regarding the war in Ukraine? Of course, I will be frank. We are uh, disappointed by the uh, decision of uh, Indonesia that we see as our good partner and friend uh, to uh, act as a co-sponsor wow. of the General Assembly condemning uh, Russia as uh, an aggressor, but uh, of course uh, we still see Indonesia as uh, our friend and partner and uh, we hope that uh, this situation will uh, not affect our bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's what happened. So you want more than just a statement, although statement would, you would appreciate that, but like action, real action from the Indonesian government is that? That w yes, that's true. I would, I would expect, actually, I would expect anything. 
but anything but silence. That's what I would expect. Maybe it could be the humanitarian aid of uh, uh, Indonesia to Ukrainian people. Anything. Because anything, any voice counts. And Indonesia is a big country. It's a proud nation, as I repeat, with glorious history, glorious past, and glorious mm -hmm. future. Indonesia is not just regional leader. It's not just a leader in ASEAN. And like I would say that it's a stronghold for ASEAN peace and stability. But it's also big now. Now we, I watch it. It is becoming the world global force. The global force. 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 Global itu yang dikatakan oleh apa tu duta besar Ukraina Ukraine tentu adalah bagaimana apa namanya kita memfokuskan energi kita untuk bisa keluar dari pandemi What's your wish um, for the Indonesian people or the Indonesian government regarding the situation in Ukraine War, that's not our wish, that is not our choice. But uh, I can assure you by conducting this military operation, uh, we're trying to prevent some bigger tragedy from happening. And of course, uh, we want peace. We want uh, to live uh, in peace with Ukraine, with our good neighbors, our, our relatives, our brothers and, and sisters. And uh, by having... Oh. But sometimes when you exhaust all the other means, you have to take some this uh, drastic oh, measures. Drastic measures. Don't be afraid of your enemies. The maximum they can do to you is to kill you. Don't be afraid of your friends. The maximum they can do for you, if, to, to you is to betray you. Mm -mm. Be afraid of indifferent. Be afraid of those who don't care. Mm -mm. Because It's because of the silent consent. All the murders, all the betrayals take place in this world. Oh. Oh, okay, kita dari pengunjung video sangat menarik video berkaitan dengan apa tu kenyataan-kenyataan kedua-dua duta besar Rusia dan Ukraine tadi. Okay, kita dah mendapat infonya. Okey, terima kasih kerana telah menonton video yang saya react tadi. Sangat menarik. Jadi, kita telah pun mendapat beberapa info yang sangat berguna untuk kita semua. Jadi, daripada video-video yang saya react, react ni. Jadi, dengan kesempatan ini, saya mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada rakan yang baru hadir tadi. Yang telah subscribe channel saya ni. Dan yang telah tekan loceng notifikasinya. Dan juga bagi rakan-rakan yang selalu hadir di channel saya ni. Saya seperti biasa. Saya rasa sangat berterima kasih kepada anda semua dan hanya Tuhan saja yang boleh membalas jasa baik anda. Tanpa bantuan anda dan tanpa pertolongan daripada rakan-rakan yang selalu hadir di channel saya ini, channel saya takkan berada di tempatnya sekarang iaitu dah pun menjangkau 60k ke atas dia punya jumlah subscribernya. So dengan ini saya mohon doa untuk kita semua supaya kita sihat walafiat, dimurahkan rezeki, dijauhkan dia apa jual malapetaka dan kita dapat menjalankan aktiviti-aktiviti harian kita dan mencari rezeki dengan aman dengan sehat so okey amin amin ya rabbal alamin okey peace bro assalamualaikum